Ooh. Hey y'all! So today I'm gonna share with you seven mistakes that a lot of girls do that have curly hair. If you do any of these things, I guarantee you, you will end up with frizz and undefined hair. So let's get to them. Um, number one, don't brush your hair. Do you want to see what my hair looks like when it's brushed out? Yeah. Anyways, you get the picture. Don't brush curly hair. If you have to get rid of tangles, always use a white tooth comb or just use your fingers. Number two, don't blow dry it. If you have curly hair and you like come out of the shower and you grab the blow dryer and go You're just begging for frizz and breakage. Air drying is always the best option for curly hair. It'll help your curls become more defined and it's healthier for your hair. Number three, don't towel dry. I know this has happened to all of us throughout our childhood. Our mom takes us out of our bath when she gave us a bath. She puts a towel on her head and she rubs her head. Just don't, okay? You're gonna get a lot of breakage, whole lot of frizz. Instead, when you come out of the shower, grab a t-shirt and scrunch your hair like this. Do this instead. It'll help encourage curl formation and it will cut down your frizz by a lot. Number four, don't mindlessly buy products. Make sure you know the ingredients of what you're using. If your hair is dry and frizzy, you're gonna have to take a look at what you're putting in it. Always opt for products that are sulfate free and silicone free. Sulfates are harsh detergents that are found in shampoos. They strip your hair of sebum and they also cause more frizz for curly hair. Buying a sulfate free shampoo will help preserve that sebum in our scalp and will keep our hair moisturized and more defined. Silicones are a plastic like substance that are found in shampoos, uh, conditioners, and serums and a lot of styling products. Silicones are man-made ingredients and they're not biodegradable, which means they will build up on your hair and they can lead to frizz, they can lead to greasy scalp, they can lead to a huge lack of volume and lack of definition. So make sure you always look for products that are sulfate and silicone free. Number five, don't sleep with wet hair. When curly hair is wet, that is when it's most obedient. Once curly hair is dry, Game over. It's gonna do whatever it wants at that point. So when your hair is wet, do whatever you can to make sure that your curls dry nice and defined and moisturized. So when your hair is wet and like you go on your pillow and like you know you move around, whatever, it's going to severely hinder your curl formation. You're gonna end up with weird lumps, frizz, and you could get breakage because wet hair is really fragile and prone to breakage. So you have to be really gentle with it. Time your showers and make sure that your hair is 100% dry before you go to sleep. Number six, protect your hair overnight. We all know that when we watch a movie, it's a huge sack of lies when you wake up perfect, okay? You have to take certain measures to prevent disasters in the morning. Put your hair up in a really high loose bun or sleep in a silk scarf. Do something to protect your hair. Don't just go to sleep with your hair loose and hope for the best in the morning. So always sleep in a protective style. This is how I like to sleep. Number seven, don't sleep on a cotton pillowcase. Now, cotton material isn't necessarily horrendous for your hair. Sleeping on a cotton pillowcase is more bad for the fact that you're creating a lot of friction while you sleep. Cotton is not slippery at all, so you're gonna be like moving like this, and it's definitely going to create frizz on your hair. Instead, buy a pillowcase that's slippery. It can be satin, silk, or polyester. And lastly, don't hate your hair. Curly hair is so awesome. It's beautiful, it has a mind of its own, it's unique, it makes you you, and curly hair is just awesome, honestly. Instead of fighting against your hair, work with your hair. Educate yourself and strive to receive the proper knowledge to care for your hair, and you will see your curls just palping all over the place, and you will love it, I promise. All right, y'all, thank you so much, and those are the biggest mistakes for curly hair, so if you do any of these things, please stop immediately thank you so much for watching you guys are amazing bless your hearts thank you bye